When we had last left, Team Bald, they had been whisked away to the wonderful city of Saradush or Saradush, and it was there that they found it actually wasn't very wonderful at all. Indeed, someone named Melisan had been gathering a whole bunch of ball spawn to that one specific city in order for them to seek refuge during the ensuing crisis. But trouble came knocking, and their leadership had fallen short. Indeed, Gromnir, their supposed uh, war leader or general who was to defend the city and those within it, had turned tail and decided maybe they didn't like Ballspawn after all. And thus, it was up to none other than Team Ball to penetrate the interior castle and uh, help lift a siege by way of destroying their defensive general who was kind of a butthole. This is Baldur's Gate 2, Enhanced Edition. Welcome back. Let's unhide all that. And also, I did some inventory management, sold off some stuff. As you can see, we got our money up a little bit higher, or significantly higher, I guess. Now, one of the things I'm thinking about is... For Minsk... Should I... Should I just buy some stuff? You know, should I, should I just be buying some shit? Here, I'm gonna put this sword over here. On Saravok. Just in case we need, like, a... An extra sword for Minsk. Okay. And, you know, in the event that I want to pivot Minsk to melee. You know what? I am going to buy some ammo for Minsk. All right, I'm going to do it. Okay. There we go. I was I was doubting it. And you know what? I'm convinced. Uh, how, how much more game do we have left? Right? Think about it that way. How much more game do we have remaining? I'll buy two stacks. Four grand. That said, maybe we run into an item that costs a whole lot to, like, manufacture or buy. And this was a massive mistake. We'll see. Oh yeah, that reminds me. Should we go back into the pocket plane? And while I have the money, should I go and do the crafting at Cespinar or whatever their name is? God, I, yeah, I should do that. I very nearly forgot. Okay. Let's warp out real fast. Can I can I use that an infinite amount of times? Okay. God, I have to listen. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Just don't destroy anything. Needs must I look through your belongings? Match them to recipes, must I? Let me see. Ah, the flail of many heads it is. Okay. Ouch! Yeah, I don't have the Will other you heads. Not just want to dump everything up. Ooh. You like this one, maybe? Yeah, the tush. Like a little smack on the tush. Okay, so I keep looking. Um, what was I lacking for the tush one? one? The chain? Ooh, shower curtain. A scroll oh, for protection from normal cloak. weapons. Nasty pattern, that. Should I should I be manufacturing like a shopping list now? God, maybe I should. Okay. Why do I talk like this? What? <laughs> Why did I say manufacturing? <laughs> I mean, by that I mean writing down in my notebook that I have present in front of me. <laughs> manufacturing a shopping list. What the fuck is wrong with me? <laughs> okay. Let's see. Scroll. Protection. From. Norm. Weapons. Okay. Scroll of Invis and Improved Haste, both. Okay. Scroll. Imp. Haste. And... Scroll. Just regular invisibility, yeah. Invisibility. Okay. 
<clears throat> nope. Nope. I see nothing more than matches with my recipes. No more shiny ones. Oh, oh what well, was the one that I needed like 40k for? Guesses. God, did I did I get rid of one? <laughs> I think I got rid of one of my fucking things. Oh dear God. Okay, fine. God, I hate it here. Oh, yes. <laughs> I hate dealing with you. Okay. Oh look, yeah, it came back. Very well. So how do I how do I depart? Just if I just go I through here, do we? It. Do we end up where we came in from? Or do we go to... Oh! Okay, we have directly recalled. I see. Okay, this bartender, do you have simple. any of that stuff real quick? No, you don't. The priestly place no time may have at some, all. though. Okay, Viking, My did friend. I speak with you? I think I did. Didn't I? You again. Anything I can help you with, sister? No, not really. Don't you think you should get out of here while you can? Who'd you say you were again? Who'd you say you were again? Okay. Yeah, you're the one who... Okay, yeah. Sorry, I don't have time to listen to your story. I know all about it. All right, then. Okay. How about you, Hecton? Or can we talk no, to I Drunk first? Traveling with you was always so much fun. <laughs> okay, Hecton. Hmm? Good day to you, ma'am. Strangers are a rare sight here in Saradush these days. Do you know anything about Melisan? Do you know any way I can get into Gromnir's castle? Know anything about Melisan? I assure you, my lady, I know nothing of that. Okay. What about the castle? I assure- okay. Same, same. That's interesting. You have a name, but you seem to know nothing. A couple elves and a couple dwarves. Are they ready to throw down? Oh. Why don't you go back to your forest hiding places? Grobnir has gone insane. He can no longer protect us. Y'all a bunch of pansy forest runners! Please, let's stop with these pointless insults. Grobnir probably didn't mean to invite your kind here. Grobnir has gone insane. He can no longer protect- Oh, okay. They're just looping. What about you, Pyrgum- Allison, what would Aelson, you trust all as well? Pilgrim, Pilgrim, Aelson, at your service. I hope we have what you need. A stiff drink, perhaps. Dark times call for dark ale. Am I right, my lady? I'd like to see what service you have. Services? Not too many friendly faces in this town, are there? Is there any way to get out of this town, or are we all trapped here? Why can't you tell me about Gromnir Ilkhan? Do you know anything about a woman named Melisan? Nothing for me right now. I'll be going. Not too many friendly faces in this town, are there? Saradush was a nice place not too long ago. Then the ball spawn started showing up. Gromnir took over, and now we're under siege. Can't blame folks if they've taken a dislike to strangers. Still, life and business go on for a while. All a man can do is carry on and hope for the best. That's my philosophy. Anything else I can help you with? Is there any way to get out of this town, or are we all trapped here? Do you think I'd still be here running my business if I knew a way out? Not even the mages can escape this place, or so I've heard. Okay, still life and business go on. What can you tell me about Gromnir? Bah! I should spit! in disgust every time I hear his name, but he's not worth the effort. Gromnir Ilkhan's nothing but a bully, a coward, a cruel, cowardly little despot. It was bad enough around here with all these refugees showing up these past months, but at least they didn't bother nobody. Gromnir's a different story. <laughs> it was bad enough having people show up who didn't even bother anyone. <laughs> I just hate refugees, I guess. <laughs> First, his troops ran off Count Centel. Then they started terrorizing the townsfolk. Next thing we know, we're caught between a tyrant we hate, tyrant we hate, and an army outside our walls that wants to kill us all just to get at him. Still, life and business go on. Okay. I'm assuming we will have something involving this Count. 
at a later date. Do you know anything about a woman named Melisan? Melisan. Wish I'd never heard her name. Nothing against her as a person, you understand. She's a fine woman, always looking to help out the less fortunate. I've seen her type before. Noble woman, looking to ease her own conscience by helping the lower classes. <laughs> Which is kind of rich coming from him, right? The only way it would be better is if it was like Nalia saying it. But the problem, see? She brought these balls spawn to Seradush to try and protect them. And now the whole town is doomed. Good intentions, bad results. Still, life and business go on. What a jackass. All right, let's see what you have. Excellent. Please see the bartender for a list of our services and items for sale. Oh, you're the proprietor. Gotcha. What, what about you all? Yes. Something on your mind? Oh, you're from the you're from the south. <laughs> the, these elves don't sound like the ones that we've met at Suldanezilar. We try being polite, but all those dwarves do is insult us. It's too bad Gromnir's men locked up all the town's sewer grates. Even the elves are still even even <laughs> I rather even the sewers were still open. The dwarves could shuffle around those stinky underground tunnels where they belong, and leave us fair folk alone. Okay, what say you? Something on your mind? This is how the dwarves sound here too. Them tree huggers really tangle my beard. <laughs> <laughs> they really tangled my beard. <laughs> I'd like to take them all and bury them somewhere they'd never be found. I heard they used to be some kind of underground prison here that they boarded up for some reason. Maybe they could reopen that place and stash these elves in there. Wow. Well, I'll say. Very well. How about here? Can I look in this freely? Or is this going to be a problem? Gotcha. Oh, seems like we're not in trouble. Got an ID scroll, potion. Okay, sure. Just as I would have thought. How about over here before we head to the back section? Tepid attacks rat. Volo. It is surprising what one can learn at a simple country fair, hmm? Huh? What? Uh, yes, the, uh, a tab. Um, uh, another ale, young miss. I'll be sure to have your funds ready. Uh huh. <laughs> you're, you're so heavily voiced for not saying those lines here <laughs> at all. Ah, I knew you would turn up here eventually. Volothamp Gedarm, I said to myself, rest assured. Whatever, wherever history is made, Lila Schnub and her companions are close at hand. Volo, what are you doing here? I know you? Who are you? Do I know you? I don't have time for this right now. Okay, we're really... For Throne of Ball, we're really digging into the deepest recesses of people that I should know. This is what, the second or third time... I, I theoretically should know someone, but I just cannot place them, right? I feel like I had a way better, uh, way better run of clocking people in Shadow of Om or whatever it was called in the core game of BG2. Who are you? Do I know you? Come now, surely you know that wherever history is being made, I, Volo, will be there to chronicle events. You don't become the most famous historian on Faerun without finding yourself right in the thick of things. Of course, this time I'm a little closer than I normally like to get. But don't worry about me. I always find a way to get out of these tight situations. I don't have time for this right now. What can I do for you, Volo? What can I do for you? Oh no, Lila Schnub. The question is, what can I do for you? The answer, of course, is immortalize you and your companions in my historical records. Here's a little preview of what I've got so far. 
Raised as a child in the cloistered confines of Candle Keep, Lila Schnub emerged from these humble beginnings to become one of the most powerful mortals to ever sit foot upon the face of Turil. That's the name of the planet? Saving the city of Baldur's Gate, defeating the mad mage John Irenicus, preserving the Tree of Life. Such heroic accomplishments are mere footnotes in the epic tale of Lila Schnub, greatest of the children of Baal. <clears throat> That's just a small taste of my entry on your exploits. Of course, the ending is not yet complete, and this is still a first draft, but you get the idea. And that's not all. If you care to listen, I can give you a small preview of what I'm going to say about those people who have the glory of adventuring with you. Okay, well, we have to listen to this. Sorry, I don't have time to listen right now. Sure, let's hear what you got. Why would I want to hear about them? Let's hear more about me. Sure, let's hear what you got. Oh, literally the people we have with us. Okay. Sure. Tell me about Animan. Okay. As one of Helm's most powerful servants of, on the mortal planes, Animan Delrin's legendary bravery, his skill in battle, and his devotion to his god are both a scourge to evil and an inspiration to his brethren within the Order of the Radiant Heart. Huh. A commendable recitation. Although, I've no need for such flattery. You did spell my name correctly, did you not? Okay, Edwin? Even better is that it seems like they'll have one line of reactivity to the... I don't know. What, whatever the history. The tale. Edwin. Edwin Odysseron. Arcane master of the darkest necromancy. The Thean wizard's very name strikes fear into the hearts of most mortals. What? That is it? No mention of how I could squash the pathetic Elminster with a wave of my little finger? Bah, writers. Although striking fear with my name is good. Yes, yes, very good. Imowen. From an anonymous childhood in the monastery at Candlekeep, Imowen stepped forth. A young woman with the blood of an immortal in her veins and the power of an archmage at her command. Oh, an archmage. I like the sound of that. But you forgot beautiful. All the sorceresses in Winthrop's books were beautiful and terrible. Watch. See? See how I flip my hair and glare at you? Don't I look evil? What? Is this, is this how Imowen is now? Is this her, like, characterization now? That she's a... She's, like... She's a little vain, but it's kind of tongue-in-cheek, so it comes off as fairly charming, right? It's kind of that, like, well, she is a rogue, right? She is partly a rogue. It's that roguish charm, wherein, like, you know, kind of self-absorbed, but um, has the wherewithal to be kind of, I don't know, self... self-conscious of their own degree of self-absorption, and thus it becomes kind of charming. Okay, Minsk. With a thundering bellow and a mighty sword, Minsk and his faithful hamster companion Boo have worked their way into the lexicon of Faerunian vocabulary as true heroes. Evil beware. Oh, Boo! He's going to mention you in his book! Isn't he a nice man? Okay. And tell me about Saravok. <laughs> yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh... Saravok? You mean THE Saravok? He's with you? Sure he is, he's right there. Amazing. I had heard that a warrior of masterful skill was sighted traveling with you, Lila Schnub. But even I could not guess at such convulsion. Convolution convulsion. <laughs> Imagine, the very man who once tried to kill you, now fights by your side. I shall have to write that down now, so I don't forget. What a fantastic tale this will make. It was a good enough tale when I was alive the first time, sycophantic fool. 
Okay, I think I've heard enough. Thank you, Lila Schnub. I can't begin to tell you how pleased I am to meet you while you are in the middle of an adventure that will change the shape of the realms. Truly, I only hope I can do your tale justice. That's kind of amazing. Part of me wants to bring literally everyone here to hear what he has to say. But in reality, I guess I should probably just look it up on a wiki and Get save myself all the, <laughs> the hassle. <laughs> right? That's probably what I should do. Okay. Good to go. Are we going to get in trouble for this? I think we're fine. Ooh, one of the nice potions. Okay. Stash that. Lovely. Oh, wait. Who's got our oils of speed? Oh, it's Saravok. This will be okay. simple. I think we're fine. Oh, there's Tepid, the cat. Hello. Tepid has nothing to say to you. Well, I'm sorry. Okay, how about back here? More rats. I guess Tepid is kind of bad at this. It's a real Garfield situation. Oh, no, wait. Tepid just killed one. Somehow. Yeah, is it this one over here? Tepid ain't even in this room. Maybe Tepid is actually like a psionic cat. Right, you are. Able to kill these rats with its mind. Ooh, superior healing. And a little ring. Great. No time at all. Okay, let's head on out. What is this room? Huh, okay. Let's head on over here. Looks like the little place where you would go to sing karaoke or something. Let's see. Oh, Countess Santel's house. Oh, we've heard right of you. Then. Let's check in with this harlot real quick. A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person. Fuck's sake! <laughs> Good God. <laughs> okay. A pleasure to meet a socially acceptable person such as yourself. Ah, uh, hey, lady. You know any guys who are, ah, uh, you know any guys who want a good time? Ah, uh, what I mean is, um, you know, I'm just saying that. You haven't done this before, have you? Is something the matter? You seem nervous. How much? <laughs> How much? How much? Oh, uh, a hundred gold, I guess. One hundred? Don't you think that's a little high? You seem a little unsure. I don't think you're cut out for this business. I don't know if you're cut out for this business. Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I'm not a... I just... Uh, I didn't... I just didn't know how else to get your attention. I saw you talking to Melisan. I heard her say you were trying to find Gromnir. Please. He had my parents murdered. I want someone to kill that bastard. I'll do what I can. You and everyone else. Get out of here. I don't have time for this. Yeah, I'll do what I can. You... You will. Oh, nothing would make me happier. But how will you get inside the castle? I don't know. Do you know a way in? I'll find a way. I don't know. Do you know of a way in? No, I wish I did. There's some people that say that the old prison underground leads to the castle, but they're all sealed up now, just like the sewers. I heard that some of the army outside the walls tried to sneak in that way, and that's why Gromnir had everything sealed up. I... I wouldn't know how to get down there at all. Well, I'll find a way in somehow. Don't worry, I'll avenge your parents' death somehow. If you didn't know how to get inside, then why did you bother me? I'll find a way in somehow. That Gromnir killed my parents. He deserves to die. Okay. You know what? Let's go back to the temple real quick and check if they have those, what, three different scrolls that we need. We'll do a quick peek and a poke. Yes. Hello. Let's see what you got. Okay. 
Protection from poison, normal weapons. Oh god, that's it, isn't it? Yeah, that's all you've got. Well, that's definitely not enough. Let's head on back Very out. Well. Here we are. And then, should we check the Arcana archives? Yes. I think we ought to. Oh, we should probably check Centel's place, too. We got distracted. Gromnir's guards barracks. Well, oh, free money and stuff. Okay, I like it. Just as I would. Also, Alexander Ralisar over there. Whoa, a bunch of people up here. Oh, are they about to have a problem? Hello, Elven man. Fair folk rarely have time for small talk. Please help us. Gromnir's guards just won't leave us alone. I fear this can only end badly. Can I talk to him? You got some business with us? Think hard on this, because you don't want to have business with us. Leave these elves alone. They aren't bothering anybody. I suggest you leave immediately, lest I bring justice raining down upon your head. I just came over to watch the fun. You gonna kill these refugees or what? Leave them alone, or I'm gonna fucking kill you. Figures. You find elves, you find elf lovers. Mind your own business and you won't get hurt. This is my business. Now back off or feel the wrath of a child of ball. Fine. I don't want any trouble. You had your chance. Now it's killing time. <laughs> now back off or feel the wrath of a child of ball. A ball spawn. Look, we were just having some fun. We don't want no trouble with you. We ain't stupid. We'll leave the pointy ears alone. Huh. Good. Okay. Oh, this person's name is Squip. This will be simple. Okay, in this crate. Free money. Hello, Squip. Who are you? What do you want? You think you can hassle me just because I'm a kid? Can you tell me anything about Melisande? Do you know any way I can get inside the castle to see Gromnir? Can you tell me anything about Melisande? I don't know anything about that! I'm just a kid! Who are you? Can, how about getting inside the castle? I don't know anything about that! What about you, boy? Loser, loser, loser. Gromnir has a big army! When I grow up, I want a big army! Okay. Great. <laughs> Thanks. Well, let's go inside the Count's building. Apparently, no one should be home, no right? Time at all. Okay. Yeah. It's one of these types of houses. Yes. Good. Yep. Any of these need picking? Yep, this little, like, end all table right, does. All right. True sight. One Quatlu. Okay, let's stash that. All and right. we'll head back out. Nothing else I need to interact with I maybe missed. Do a quick mouse over here. Nope. Okay. Back out we go. Okay. I'm assuming we should be talking to everyone before we go either into the sewers or what I'm planning on doing into the screwed up prison. Right. And then once we deal with Gromnir, the state of the city will change, and then we should probably talk to everyone again. Or maybe it's not even worth it to talk to everyone again. I would assume it's worth it. Evil and decay. Let's give it a good shake and see what falls out. All right, Alexander Ralisar. Hmm? Hmm? You don't look like one of the locals. Are you a child of Ball as well? Lord here like the rest of us to face our inevitable end? As well? What do you mean? Yes, I'm one of Ball's off offspring. No, I'm not a Ball spawn, not at all. <laughs> yes, I am one of Ball's. I myself am one of Ball's progeny, or so I've been told. I guess Ball's blood runs thicker in some of his children than in others. By your sniveling manners, I would say Ball's blood runs very thin indeed in your veins. Bah! Why do I even waste my breath tormenting this cowering cur? Uh, is there anything else I can help you with? 
<laughs> Let's exhaust all these, I guess. What can you tell me about Gromnir? I never liked Gromnir much. Too unstable, if you ask me. I came to Saradush seeking sanctuary, but when he took over, I decided to get as far away from him as possible. <laughs> Which meant just coming out here. That's not true for all of us, though. I understand there's quite a few Ballspawn whom he's gotten to fight at his side. Some of them are pretty powerful, too. Anything else I can help you with? How about... question? Can I ask some questions about Melisang? I hadn't met her until I came to Saradush, but I had heard her name. They said she promised to keep us Ballspawn safe, but it looks like we're all doomed, despite her efforts. How did you get here, exactly? I wasn't brought here by Melisan, like some of the others. I fled here from Sembia. My home village was burned to the ground by a dragon who claimed to be hunting for me. My friends, my family, they threatened to give me to the dragon if I didn't leave. So I did. And I heard a lot of other ball spawn were coming here. <sighs> now I almost wish I hadn't come. Okay. Do you know how to get inside the castle? There was another child of ball about here who could teleport about, but I don't know if he could take you with him. Timid fellow, anyway. Probably not the kind you're looking for. Interesting, I'm sure we'll meet that person. I don't know why you'd want to get into the castle anyway. My advice would be to stay well away from Gromnir. When this army gets inside the walls, he's the first thing they're going after for sure. Okay, that's all. I'll be going now. Whatever you wish. Soon enough, we shall all be dead anyway, I suspect. The walls won't hold forever. What? Okay. Should we check out Gromnir's barracks? Yes. Oh, I can't. Can I- ah! Whoa! Good lord, man! Jesus! It knocked Imowen prone? <laughs> okay. Fucking A. Very well. What happened to her? No, it knocked her asleep. <laughs> she got hit so bad she fell asleep. What the hell? Can you imagine being shot and you immediately fall? Oh god, and look, she no moved just in time to miss on the heel. Just as okay. I would have thought. What do you want? You can count on me. There we go. Picked into that. Get on. This will be simple. Oh. Orog or Orog. Hey! Nobody's allowed in here but Gromnir's men. You have about five seconds to slink out of here before I turn my men loose on you. I'm sorry, we're not looking for trouble. I go where I want when I want. Gromnir's days of bullying this town are over. Maybe I should fucking kill him. Nah, we'll wait. Maybe there's another way we, we can resolve it. I'm sorry, we're not looking for trouble. Get moving, then. I'm already counting those five seconds. Uh-oh. Okay, well, we better do it. Yes? We may pay them another no visit at a later at date, all. though. Okay, how about over here? The Arcana Archives? Is this like a wizard shop? Lazarus Librarius. Or all Librarius. Right, Incredible wizard lord name. Have a look at my rares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. Okay. Have a look at my rares. I trust you'll find them all in satisfactory condition. A Lazarus Librarius at your service. Welcome to the Arcana Archives. I would normally invite you to look at my magical wares, but alas, my shelves are completely bare. I have not even a single parchment left for you to purchase. My spell book has been stolen. Without it, I cannot fashion the powerful scrolls which normally fill my shop. Please, mighty Lila Schnapp, I beg of you to help a humble wizard. Very well, I shall help you recover your spellbook. What's in it for me? I can't be bothered with your petty problems. Alright, I'll help. I thank you for your aid in solving the theft of my spellbook, mighty Lila Schnapp. Is there anything I can do to aid your investigation? What can you tell me about the crime? At first, I suspected Hector. He is well known about town for his sticky fingers. 
but after questioning many witnesses, it is clear that Hecton was at the local pub from dusk until dawn the night of the theft. I still suspect that no good thief Hecton was involved. I can clearly see the guilt in his face, but there is no proof. Without my spellbook, I am virtually powerless to pursue this myself, and as a newcomer to this town, I have no one to turn to for help. Are there any clues? I'll, I will make this Hecton confess. I will return when I finish my investigation. Are there any clues? There is but one clue, Lila Schnub. Though it does little to point the finger at Hecton, a set of muddy footprints leading from my window. Very small footprints. Far smaller than those of Hecton, or any man or woman for that matter. I regret that there is little else I can tell you. Hecton can usually be found in the tankard tree, if you want to question him. Okay, I think I will go speak to this Hecton. As you wish, I urge you Godspeed. Without my spellbook, I have no way to restock my inventory with the precious scrolls I normally carry. Okay. The owner of a local scroll shop had his spellbook stolen. Without it, he has no wares to sell. He suspects a man named Hecton, though Hecton has an ironclad alibi. He was busy getting drunk down at the local inn. Maybe he had like a clone, or someone <coughs> dressed as him. Or he shrunk himself. That said, I don't think that's present in Baldur's Gate 2. Oh. A lot of books, at the very least. No scrolls, but lots of reading. I think they're all things we've read before. History of Shadowdale. Are these the complete works? No. Seven gold. Actually, there may be the complete works here. Gondagol. Halrua. All things that we read in the first game. Okay. Yep. All familiar. Any other building? Yeah, this one. Yes! What is this building? It's unmarked. Oh. Very well. This is just somebody's house. Hello. Hmm? Look at our town. Refugees everywhere. Grumner's men wrecking havoc in the streets. Damn that, General. What about you, child? <laughs> It's me! My mama said so! Are you the mama? Oh gosh. Where have you even gone? Hello, you mate. You look a friendly face. <laughs> Please help us! Gromnir's men terrorize us in the streets. And I fear that the army outside will soon burn Seridish to the ground! Alright, don't worry, miss. I'll take care of it. Let's head on over here. Greetings. Just as I would have thought. Good. And now let's head back into... Well, we've got the Militia HQ, too. All right, we still have a couple more places to... Whoa! Let's check the tavern. Let's speak with Hecton. This will be simple. Hello, Hecton. Hmm? Good day to you, ma'am. Strangers are a rare sight here in Saradish these days. I want to ask you some questions about stolen spell book. I see where this is going. Well, Lazarus is... Well, Lazarus is barking up the wrong tree. I was at the tanker tree all night long. And I have witnesses to prove it. I know you took the book, Hecton. Save us some time and confess. I'll be back when I have proof you were involved. Save us some time and confess! Let's be a dick. Lazarus is wrong. I didn't take it, and there's no evidence to say I did. Okay, I'll go. But if I find out you're lying, give me that book or I'll pry it from your cold, dead hands. Maybe we can pickpocket it. Alright, I'll go, but if I find out you're lying... I've been falsely accused. I stand by my alibi. I was busy drinking all night. Okay. Maybe it was like an illusory version of himself. Name it. This way then? Let's see. Imwin, how good are you at pickpocketing? 
fucking horrible, actually. Okay. I think I have several potions of thievery, though. Oh, no, I don't. I have potions of invis. Ooh, okay. Well, we do have these. All right, we'll give it a shot. Let's see if it does anything good. Gotcha. Nope, nothing can be stolen. Okay, fair enough. All right then. You know what? I'll quick load back. All right. The potion. Then. I got some cheap beer for you. Bartender. Did this dude actually buy beer from you? Okay, just your services. Oh dear. Maybe Vikang we can speak with? Hi, friend. Hmm. No, nothing you can help me with. Okay. How about this drunk? No. How about you? No, nothing about Hecton. Shit, who could we talk to, then? Maybe Volo? No shot. Okay, I'll leave you to your thing. And I don't think there was another person in the back or anything, was there? Maybe I can talk to this peasant or waitress? No. Hello, mate. You look a friendly face. Huh. Anything weird I could interact with? No. Should I just try intimidating him? Okay. Give me that book or I'll pry it from your cold dead hands. You can't kill me, but you will be killing an innocent man. And I do not believe you to be such a savage monster. Okay. I mean, he probably really is innocent then, right? Maybe that's for real. Gosh, we really could kill him, though, and just find out. I'm curious. Yes. <laughs> what if I do kill him? Hang on, I'm gonna, I'm gonna attack him. We're not gonna keep this. He fucking has it! You motherfucker. He fucking has it. How do I get it, though? Hmm. God, I bet you have to pickpocket it. All right, then. Okay. What if we go get Yawn? Yawn can pickpocket it. Okay. We're <laughs> desperate times call for desperate measures. Yawn, we're in need of a uh, proficient pickpocket. Uh -huh. Oh, what? Is it time to go already? It is. Okay. And when you need to wait here. You want me to go? Are you sure? Uh, part of me feels that I need to be with you, that something important is happening. But if you're sure. No, M1, I entirely agree, but uh, just wait here for a bit. Uh, all right. Just don't leave me here, please. I don't think I could stand it just standing around while everything is going on. Yes. It is very peculiar how, this time around, for once, all of our companions really want to go adventuring. In Baldur's Gate uh, 1 and the core game. Very well. That was definitely, like, not the case. Okay, Jan. Your pickpocket is yes, one hundo. Yes. A standard tactic, that. He can't take it? None will see me now. Well, what the fuck? Okay. Well, shit. Just as I would have thought. I would rather not get it by killing him. Let's head on back then. We'll get him on back. I thought for sure that would be it. That we could just pickpocket it off of him. Hmm. This will be simple. Maybe this is something that we can only resolve once we solve the Gromnir situation. About time you got back. I was getting all jittery. 
Join the party again, then. Alright, see ya, Yon. Against all my better judgment, I'll Just give wait you a here for a while. chance to change your mind. How about it? Okay, and let's rest, Two perhaps? and I stay? Three? No time at all. Good. And let's head on back out. Lovely. All right, then. There is this guy on the outside, though, huh? Who sometimes comes in, comes and goes. What would you oh, ask? no, that's at the temple. Yeah, never mind. Okay, let's check out this building. That said, that dude's name is Nimblefinger. Oh my god, and he does have smaller footprints. Because he's like a gnome or halfling. Hmm? Hmm? Just leave me alone. I can't tell you anything. I'm just a simple farmer. All I want is my normal life back. Damn this cursed immortal lineage. I bet it's him. Hmm. I wonder how they pulled it off, though. Now look, we can get in here. Got it. Oh, this door has a very complex-looking lock, and nobody appears to be home at the moment. Wow, so we can't even get in. Yes. Okay. Well, we still have the militia HQ. Ah! Fucking a man. Good gravy. Good thing we got these AoE heals ready to go. Get on very well. Jesus, look, M1 and Saravok are both laid out. Which you know, M1 being a mage thief or whatever. Just expected, but Saravok? Not getting a saving throw or anything there? That's a little wild. Okay, let's head on in here. You must gather your party before venturing forth. What can it be oh. now? Whoa. Countess Santel. I know this is difficult for you, but you have to make a positive identification. Merniel Santel? Yes. He is the one. Mateo. He is the traitor. No, the Countess must be mad with grief. There must be some mistake. You are certain, Countess? There is no mistake? I am certain. Before my beloved son, Ardric, or Ardic, disappeared, he told me he had witnessed Matteo opening the gate. Whoa, Kaiser Jerry. There. Surely you now see, my overzealous Captain Samond, that your egregious accusations have needlessly vilified my impeccable character. I mean, she must be under some kind of charm spell. Like, look at how many ellipses she's using. Why are you doing this, Countess? I'm Ardic's friend! Your son and I grew up together! Captain, I stringently demand you incarcerate this heinous felon immediately. You make no demands of me, Kaiser Jerry. I fulfill my duties as I see fit. Men, take Mateo away and escort the Countess to her quarters. Yes, please. Take me away from this place. Well, I guess now someone will be home. What is it? Oh, that's how you sound. Well, Captain, am I free to go now? Is this travesty of justice, this witch hunt, this... this fiasco finally at an end? You're free to go, Kaiser. Get out of my sight. I'm in no mood to see your unscrupulous face right now. I suppose such abuse is the best approximation of an apology I can expect from an uncouth cretin such as yourself, Captain Samond. Huh. huh? Okay. This will be hey, Captain. Simple. What can it be now? Oh, right, yeah, you have this apathetic voice. What? Oh, you must be the ones Melisan told me about. Just what our town needs. More ball spawn. Ah, oh, my name is Captain Samond, and I'm a very busy man right now. I need to ask you a few questions. 
Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long. I must see to the defense of the walls. Why did your soldiers drag that young man away? I'd like to ask you a few questions about Gromnir. What can you tell me about Melisan? Do you know some way I can get into the castle to see Gromnir? Is there anywhere in town I can go to replenish my supplies or maybe get some healing? Why'd your soldiers drag that young man away? That? Oh, a most unpleasant matter. A few days ago, someone opened a secret gate into the town. Saradush could easily have been overrun. We just discovered the traitor was a young man named Mateo. You don't sound convinced. There's no doubt in my mind that someone betrayed us. The enemy came through a small sewer outlet that was protected by both a locked iron grate and several powerful magical wards. There is no way to open that entrance from the outside, but Mateo is a faithful soldier, not the type of man to betray Saradush. Maybe he didn't. Are there any other suspects? An alarm was raised, and my soldiers arrived only a few moments after the gate was opened. We found three people in the area, Mateo, Ardix and Tell, and the merchant Kaiser Jerry. When we began our investigations, I strongly suspected Kaiser. He's a greedy, self-serving weasel who would sell his own mother if the price was right. What changed your mind? Oh, I get it. It had to be the merchant, right? None of your own precious soldiers. So why did you arrest Mateo? So why'd you arrest Mateo? We didn't get a chance to complete our investigations. Ardic, the son of the Countess Centel, disappeared. He was our primary witness. Perhaps Ardic himself is the culprit. Did you consider this? But somehow you still made an arrest. Wow, I love that we can actually say that. That does not feel like something that we would be able to do normally. But somehow you still made an arrest. Our attention was focused on the vile Kaiser Jerry, but we had no proof. Then the Countess told us that Ardic, her son, had implicated Matteo before he disappeared. That's a pretty weak case, if you ask me. Maybe Ardic and the Countess are behind this, seeking revenge on Gromnir for banishing the Count. Oh. Right, the Count. How do you know the Countess is telling the truth? Yeah, maybe Ardic and the Countess are behind this, seeking revenge on Gromnir for banishing the Count. I doubt it. Both Ardic and the Countess hated the Count. He had a short temper and a heavy hand. If Gromnir hadn't banished him, well, who can say? But you are still convicting Mateo solely on hearsay. If you knew the Countess, you would know her word is beyond reproach, and she has nothing to gain from a lie. Mateo was Ardic's closest friend. Accusing him was very traumatic for her. Still, I have to admit, this does not sit well in my gullet. I was so sure Kaiser Jerry was the culprit. To discover it was one of my own men. I'm shocked. So now you just sit back and wait for the executioner? Seems like you want to wrap this up with a quick execution. Mind if I come to watch the traitor's execution? So now you just sit back and wait for the executioner? Mateo will not be executed. Not while we are under siege. The defense of Saradush is my first concern. But if I had more time, I would investigate further. I just want to find the truth. So we need to do this before we lift the siege. I think is the implication. Perhaps I could delve deeper into this matter for you. Sounds like you want someone to investigate this matter further, Captain. You want the truth? You can't handle the truth! <laughs> okay. <laughs> Perhaps I could delve deeper. If you wish to investigate further, I will not stand in your way. Speak to Mateo in his cell. The jailer will let you see him. Thank you for the information. I shall be going now. I will go visit Mateo in the jail at once. I will right this injustice. Forget it, Mateo is on his own. I still need to ask you some other questions. Yeah, I have other questions too. Well, you better make it quick. I can't stay for long. I must see to the defense of the walls. Do you have time for questions about Gromnir? 
Gromnir isn't much of a soldier, abandoning the city like he did. And as a ruler, he's even more of a tyrant than Count Santel. The townsfolk are better off since Ilkhan locked himself in that castle. Me and my soldiers have served as the Saradush military militia for years. We don't need Gromnir's help to defend the town. Okay, more questions. Why can't you tell me about Melisan? The fact that we can ask so much about Melisan leads me to believe that there is uh, a secret afoot about her, right? Like she's hiding something. Because normally when we go to help someone or someone offers to aid us, we can't immediately go and be like, what do you know about this person, right? <laughs> I feel like that is giving away the, uh, the little twist that we may be in store for. What can you tell me about Malisan? Saradush would have been better off if she had never brought all those ball spawn here. Sure, she tries to help during the siege, but it's too little too late. The damage is already done. Another question. Do you know some way I can get into the castle to see Gromnir? The only way I know in I know of is straight through the front gates, but those are locked up tight. Sorry, ball spawn, but you're stuck out here with the rest of us. Another question? Anywhere I can get supplies or healing? Go to the tanker tree. The bartender there can set you up with anything you need. Or the Temple of Joaquin, if you're the religious type. Another question? Just kidding, I've heard enough. I'll be going now. What you do is your own concern. I must I must away to aid in the defense of Saradush. Oh, I guess that was him letting us into the back. Okay. Betrayal at the gates. Captain Samond informed me of a plot to let the enemy into Saradush through a secret gate in the wall. On the testimony of Countess Sandel, or Santel, the traitor, a young man named Matteo, has been taken to the militia headquarters. The captain originally suspected a vile merchant named Kaiser Jerry, and he suggested I go speak to Matteo at the militia headquarters if I wish to investigate this further. Okay. Well, I suppose we'll call it for now, but when next we return, we will go speak with this Matteo, right? We'll see what's up. And we can also look through this shelf here. Actually, you know, let's look through the shelf right now. Whoa, bunch of healing. History of the Dragon Coast, Drow. Okay, sure. Yep, when next we return, we're going back in here. Gonna chat up Mateo, and uh, maybe we'll track down this other guy. Mind you, we also have this mystery, and we do have someone who may have small enough footprints, and their surname is Nimble Finger. And yet there, there seems to be no way I can confront them. Right? That said, Hecton definitely has the book. He definitely has it. But maybe he hired someone else to do it. Or he bought it off of someone. Knowingly. Mm, who can say? Alright. Hopefully we, we will be able to. Until next time, please take care, take, <laughs> take care of each other.